Hello ladies and gents, how's it going today? It's your boy Serge here, and today I'm going to be looking at the tips. You know, the ones that show up in the little loading menu as you're loading into a game. I'm going to be looking at all of those. And there's a lot that are extremely flawed. Let's, uh, let's check them out. Alright, so starting off with number one, this isn't exactly a flawed tip, but I'd strongly discourage against it. I'd actually advise using the pistol to finish off enemies or to get buildings, but it's not very great to solely use to just simply shoot at the enemy. I advise using the scatter gun first, and then picking them off with the pistol. Okay, so with this tip, I don't actually have a problem with the first part. It's the second part that I have the problem with. Stick to your bat? No. I'd actually advise sticking to either the sun on a stick or the atomizer if you actually want to live longer because the atomizer grants you the triple jump potential and the sun on the stick grants you 25% fire resistance. Both while deployed, of course, but that's still better than nothing. Alright, so with this tip, not much I have to explain here. The salmon doesn't stun anymore, so this tip is just wrong. Alright, now we move on to soldier. Alright, so with this tip, um, it's... It's just wrong. You... It's wrong. Use the pan. Just... It's wrong. Use the pan. Stupid tip. Okay, now for this one. I'd also discourage this. Market gardening right away is not the way to go. You'd have to understand rocket jumping first, and you'd have to understand positioning first. And um, besides, you uh, you um, you want to use the pan. So yeah, use the pan. That's also a stupid tip. All right, now with this tip, it's not necessarily wrong, but it's very general. Specifically, the term multiple. Um, the bison actually only hits three times. For a more in-depth explanation of why that is. I'd recommend watching Sam Smith's PSA video on the Righteous Bison nerfs not being fully reverted back in Jungle Inferno. Alright, now for this one. I would very much discourage this, especially with what they did in Jungle Inferno to Afterburn, where Afterburn increases in length depending on how long you burn the enemy for. This is not a very good tip. Alright, two things for this one. Firstly, the tip that tells you that you can air blast demomens with the charge and charge needs to be changed to any shields in general because the splendid screen and tide turner can also be knocked back. And secondly, why are there six different tips telling you that you can push enemies away? <laughs> it's a bit extreme. <laughs> Alright, moving on to Demo Man. And not too big of an issue with this one, it's just that they omitted the quickie bomb launcher and the sticky jumper. Those need to be added into this tip for it to be extremely accurate. So these two tips regarding the Scottish Resistance actually contradict each other, so a bit questionable there. Okay, this tip needs a bit rewarding because it does not do additional damage to players. Regardless of their speed, it does not do additional damage to players. It does additional damage to buildings, but not to enemy combatants. Alright, so this tip is wrong because the pan exists. Okay, so there's a lot of confusion going on with these tips because in some tips, they encourage you to use the sandwich and the buffalo steak to heal yourself or to heal your teammates, but in other tips, they tell you to use the shotgun because it works better with the KGB? I, I mean, that, that says something on its own. Okay, so I actually didn't have issues with uh, the engineer or the medic tips that they have, so I thought I'd just show off that, uh, I don't know, I'm like the best medic or something. I'm like, check this out, so. So I'm about to die here from all these all these pipes like paw. Heal the pyro. Rock jump with the soldier. Bam. Insane airstrike. The triple on the demo. Drop him. Come back for my scout. Drop their medic. Heal my sniper with the quick fix I've built. Heal the scout. Heal another scout. And then go for the kill on the soldier. Put me on fucking Froyo. Okay, this isn't a very good tip. Actually, what you'd want to do is kill the engineer first, because when you sap an engineer's sentry, it alerts the engineer that his sentry is being sapped. So you want to kill the engineer first, because you don't want to put yourself in those 1v1 situations against an engineer, because it, the engineer's shotgun, or whatever primary is using, is likely going to be more reliable than your revolver. Okay, so there's not necessarily anything wrong with this tip, but it doesn't instill the mindset that you should be wary of losing your disguise because you won't get it back on death when that's not the case at all because you do get it back on death because you can disguise with the new year eternal reward so this tip needs to be updated like the last tip this one also needs to be updated because it does not mention anything about getting critical hits on backstabs which is much more common than getting critical hits from destroying buildings i'm gonna just let this music play all right that's gonna be it for this video 
Is there any tips you think I missed? Let me know in the comments below. I thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. As always, have a good one.